Hi guys, today I finally have my Butter London haul to show you. This is from a few weeks ago when Ulta had their buy one get one free sale and it just took me a little while longer than expected to get around to recording this haul. So the first color I'm going to show you is what's on my nails and this is called Dodgy Barnet. It is a silver holographic and unlike a lot of the other hollows that I have in my collection, it actually turned out more of the effect on the nail than there is in the bottle. I was kind of pleasantly surprised, so that's one I really would definitely recommend. Next is another silver, and this is called Diamond Geezer. This is more of a foily metallic. And I've worn a few other of these in the interim, but not very many. So as I get to those, I'll mention them. This next one is called Lady Muck, and it's kind of a bluish gray with a silver shimmer on top. Then we get into some darker colors. This is Chimney Sweep, and that's kind of like a gunmetal kind of gray. This is Gobsmacked, and this is a really awesome color on the nail. I ended up having this on for about 10 days while I was sick and you know I didn't really get bored with it the whole time it wore really well I don't think I got any chips at all until around like the seventh or eighth day and something about just the sparkle and the texture of it reminded me of like a uh, druzy quartz if you guys are familiar with that gemstone um, if you're not, Google it, but it was just very sparkly and really textured and fun to wear. This is Branwin's Feather. This is a very dark aubergine. And this one is actually even darker on the nail than it is in the bottle. Um, I've worn this one also, and I had people ask me if I was wearing black. And I had to say, you know, no, it looks, it looks purple in the sun, but... You know, it's one of those colors that other people are not going to be able to appreciate maybe as much as you do. This uh, glitter bomb here is called Lovely Jubbly. And as you can see, that's like pink and with a little bit of blue glitter mixed in there. Then this is Shag. And right now it's kind of looking like kind of a brick red color, but it really changes depending on the lighting and I'm really looking forward to actually wearing that one to see if it changes character like that on the nail too. Um, this is the Full Monty and as you can see that's just a plain metallic gold. Then this is Trustafarian and I want to give this one a try soon to see if it's as much of a surprise as um, Dodge Barnet because um, if I hold them up together here you can see they have kind of the same texture in the bottle and that little hint of holographic so I'm hoping that the green pops out as much on the nail as the silver did. Then this is Dosh which is kind of a grass green color. Then Victoriana which is a dusty teal with a silver shimmer. Then Slapper, which is a really bright turquoise cream. And then finally, this is Sprog. And that's just a beautiful periwinkle. So I hope you guys were able to take advantage of the sale if you were interested in it. And uh, if you did, feel free to let me know what you picked up. I think I got just about everything that I really wanted, except for one color I'm still kind of looking for and deciding whether or not I really want it not on sale. And that's uh, Little Bet's Jubilee, I think it's called. And it's like a very light purple silver metallic from what I've seen online. So... Other than that, I mean, Butter London polishes are pretty, but a lot of them are, you know, like your basic colors. They have a lot of basic reds, a lot of basic nude colors, so some of them I'm just not interested in. But 
that's all as far as hauls for now. I haven't bought any, well, that's not true. I don't have anything in my hands that I've bought since I bought these. I uh, placed an order on Zoya a couple days ago, but it hasn't come in the mail yet, so it doesn't count, right? Um, I'll be doing a tutorial soon, and I'm actually having trouble deciding, so if you head over to my Facebook page right now, you can participate in the poll that I've put up that will help decide the next tutorial. Um, you know, if you're viewing this more than a couple days after upload, it's over, but definitely feel free to head on over to my Facebook page anyway. I'll include a link down in the information box. And I like to think it's a little community over there. Lots of people share pictures. And sometimes I'll post little bonus things or polls or just random stuff that I see on Facebook and want to share with you guys. So I think that's it for now. And as always, thanks for watching.